Hello friends. Today we are going to implement a half header on a breadboard. For this project, we need a breadboard. We need a Zorget IC 7486. We need one NGET IC 7408. We need two LEDs. 200 ohm resistor and some connecting wires also we require a battery of less than 5 volt here i am using a 4 volt battery you can use any battery of less than 5 volt first we will see the pinout of the 7486 that is Zorget IC. So here is the Zorget IC. When I place this cut mark in this side, then this will be the pin number one, the leftmost side, and then two, three, four, five, like that. This will be the seven. And again, eight, nine, ten. The last one is this one is pin number 14. Similarly, for this. And get IC also when I place this cut mark to the side that is left side, then this will be the pin number one, the first one, and the last one is seven, and this one is eight, and the last one is 14. Like that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So now we will Im implement it. We need one Zor get and one and get in a 7486 Zorget IC, there are four Zorget actually. One, two, three, four. Only we need one Zorget. So we will only use this Zorget. That means pin number one, two, and three. Pin number one and two is the input, and three is the output. So here we are writing like, like that pin number one, two, and three is the output. Similarly, for a 7486, sorry, 7408 and get IC. There are also in a 7408 and get IC. There are four and gets one, two, three, four. We will only use this first one that is pin number one, two, and three. Pin number one and two is the these are the input and three is the output. So let us now implement it on breadboard. So first of all, connect, take two wires like that and connect these two points so that these holes are internally connected. Similarly, for these holes, use a small wire and connect it. Otherwise, from this hole to this hole will be connected and from this hole to this hole will be connected but there will be no connection in between these holes that's why we have to use these two wires so now first place the Zorget IC so we will place it keeping the cut mark to the left side and then the and get IC. Now connect the VCC and ground point for both these ICs. For both these ICs, 7 is ground and 14 is VCC. So we will connect it to ground and VCC. First, we will connect the ground points. So this is the seven number pin so you can connect from any one of these holes these four holes this column so i will connect from this and i will connect from this and this point i will take this point as a these rows this first row as ground then from this this is the seven number pin of the second ic so i will connect from here let me connect from here to 
first column so it is grounded now now i will connect the 14 to vcc so i will connect from this point to this point i will use this row as a vcc so this is the 14 pin again from the for this ic this is the 14 pin so i will connect this 14 to vcc now from this diagram we can see that pin number one of the zor gate is connected to pin number one of the end gate so we will first connect it so here is the pin number one of the zor gate and here is the pin number one of the end gate so i have connected it now we can see that pin number two of the zor gate is connected to pin number two of the end gate so we will connect it here is the pin number two of the zor gate and here is the pin number two of the end gate so it is now connected now pin number three is the output of this zor gate and it will represent sum and pin number three of the end gate is output then it will represent carry so we will use two leds to observe the output so from this pin number three we cannot directly connect this led because it may sometimes burn so we will use this 100 ohm resist resistor uh, to connect this led so from pin number three of the zor gate we will connect this resistor and then we will put it in this point here you see here then from this point we will connect this led so we will connect the positive terminal of the led the longer one so positive and negative will be ground so positive here and negative will be in the ground similarly from pin number three of the end gate we will connect a resistor and we will put this here so from this point we will connect this positive terminal of this led and negative terminal will be grounded so our half adder is now ready actually now we have to connect the positive terminal of the battery to this row that is vcc row we have considered it and negative terminal to the negative terminal of the here negative terminal to the ground that we considered now we, we will test it we will connect two wires from one and two of these zor gate because we need a and b so suppose the red one is a that is from pin number one of this zor gate and pin number two suppose this black one is b now we will observe the output so here is the truth table we can see first zero zero that means we have to connect both the wires to ground zero zero so we can see output is zero zero also now a is zero b is one so a is that means red is zero that is connected to ground and b is one that means we have to connect b is in ground uh, sorry vcc so we see that this sum is one at that time so here is the sum this is from pin number three of the uh, zor gate you can see 
so here sum is one and carry is zero in this moment so now we will connect uh, a is now one and b is zero that means we have to connect a in vcc that means any point of this first row so here a is one and b is zero zero means any point of the first row here so zero so one zero now in one zero we can see sum is one that means this one so that is it is glowing and carry is zero now a is one b is also one so we will connect a this red one in vcc and this black one also in vcc so one one at this time so you can see sum is zero so this becomes zero this is off now and carry is one so this is on now so that means our half adder is working thank you for watching the video if you are new to dpv technology don't forget to subscribe us thank you